Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video here on my channel, I'm Corey is Crazy. Now for the last couple of days I have not uploaded due to the upgrade of my PC for streaming. Now let's get into this video. So yesterday Call of Duty Black Ops 3 updated again, bringing out the Gobble Gum Challenge for Zombies. Now basically what it says is Dr. Monty's factory is overflowing with Gobble Gums. So he has brought us the Gobble Gum Community Challenge. Now, this is to consume 10 million gobble gums in the game. Now, this is across PS4, Xbox One, and of course, PC. Now, the final reward has already been released on here, and basically, it's going to be a pack of the ultra rare gobble gums. So, you know, like Pugaholic, and of course, Shop and Free, those ones are going to come in handy a lot later on. Now, of course, we don't know if they're going to give us more than one. Of the actual ultra rares they might give us like five of them so you might get five pergaholics and five shopping freeze we don't know about that yet but at the moment it was at seven percent when i recorded this video which was today which is actually pretty insane now of course this is across all platforms of xbox one ps4 and pc so you all will complete it at the exact same time just showing you right now in newton's cookbook they are actually having pergaholic right now to actually get from the act distilled stuff which is pretty cool but unfortunately i don't have enough right now so how do you actually complete this well of course if you're an average zombie player you'll probably get to around 30 to 40 in rounds now of course each round you get a free gobble gum from the machine you if you want to do another gobble gum in the same round you have to pay 1500 points now you can choose any of the classic gobble gums or you can go for your mega ones you can go for the Cool free ones from the Zombies Chronicles and DLC 4 and DSO 3. They're quite fun as well. I do enjoy using them. And basically, you just have to pop one each time, each round, and just use them up. Now, of course, this is across, like I said, PS4, Xbox One, and PC. If you are an average player, you'll probably get to around 30 to 40. That's 40 Gobble Gums used in one game. Of course, if you're using more than one in one uh, round, it's up to you guys. You're probably around about 80 in a round. It's up to you. Now, of course, if you're a pro zombies player, you'll probably get to around 60 to 80. I normally get to around 60 on the giant. That's probably my record at the moment, and it's pretty cool. But of course, you'd be using up about 60 to 80 gobble gums, which is insane. Now, if you're doing that, I recommend maybe using the classic ones because you're going to probably burn through the mega ones pretty quickly because with the mega ones, you're going to need them a lot to get to around 60 to 80. That, you're probably going to use Burnt Out. You're going to probably use Pugaholic quite a lot of times because you may go down. Probably the easiest map for you guys to actually play to get to around 60 to 80 is probably going to be the Giant. It's the easiest map. You can unlock the Pack Punch really quickly. You can go with friends. You can go on the catwalk. Or you can go in the courtyard and just run around, make a train of zombies, and then shoot them all. It's the easiest map. But if you want to have a lot of fun, Go for Revelations, or if you want to go for Classic, go for Nutter and Toten. I'm Corey is Crazy, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and comment. We're at 20,000 subscribers, if we hit to 30,000 subscribers, but in this uh, next month, that'd be awesome. See you guys next time. Goodbye.